Good morning, this is Deborah Hargroves and I want to tell you about one of my very favorite tools for the computer. Um, this is available for pretty much all PCs and it's preloaded in Windows but a lot of people don't know about it and it's one of my favorite things. I use it a lot when I'm trying to make handouts for my classes or various things when I want to take something from the web uh, that maybe I couldn't get otherwise or not just the web but a picture from your computer anything it will just take a picture of the screen just where you designate it to to do so it's really a useful tool it's called this snipping tool now I'm just going to get out of this for a second I just wanted to kind of give you a close-up view of what that was but what uh, the snipping tool is and I keep mine down here on my taskbar, but uh, I, before it was there, I had to go find it. So what you do is you go here to the Windows icon in the lower left uh, corner of your screen. Usually that's where it's found. Sometimes it gets moved around, but if we click there, now of course mine, I use it so much it's up there at the top because these are my most recently used uh, uh, icons, but I, if I go to look for it, I just type down here snipping tool. You could probably just type snipping and get it. And you can see it pops up here under programs and you just click right there. And then that opens up the snipping tool. And it asks you it, if you want to do a new snip and uh, you get a choice of freeform snip, rectangular, or the window snips, or full screen snip and depending upon what you want to capture and of course you could always crop it down if you needed to but the one that I, I I use rectangular quite a lot because usually a lot of the things that I want are rectangular like for instance this icon let's just go ahead and do a rectangular one to start with say I wanted to talk to people about Dropbox and I have this icon of Dropbox on my screen so I'm just gonna click and drag across that and then it puts that on my um, in my snippet and I then go to copy I can do that or I could go to save it and just save it as an image file it's going to save it as a JPEG I could do that or I could if I wanted to do something with it before I actually sent, you know saved it I could get my highlighter pen and I could highlight different things on it like say uh, here you know I could do whatever I needed to do with the highlighter there or if I wanted to get uh, uh, to, to type on it or write on it I could say a great program or whatever I wanted to do with the pen it's just a writing tool so this way I could customize my clips however I want to now I could save it and it's going to save the whole thing that I have there let's say I do something and I don't like it I could get the eraser and I could actually erase what I did there so if you wanted to do that you could also and then of course you can email uh, it is an attachment. You can copy it to a clipboard and then you could actually put it into uh, a document or a PowerPoint presentation or whatever you wanted to. Now that one, the one we just showed you there is a rectangular snip. But let's say I want to get something. This one really is nice because sometimes you want one thing but not another in the snip. So let's do a freeform snip and let's go to a um, web page. Let's see what I've got here. I think I've got one up here that we can go to. Well, no, can't do it while I've got this up. So let me go into it first. Now I'm going to get my snipping tool and do a free form snip, free form. So what I want to do is I want to get some of this uh, here, but I don't want to get all of it. So what I'm going to do is just draw around the portions that I want to have in my snip and then leave out some of the other things. Now, if I had a rectangular selection, it wouldn't be as, uh, I couldn't get it so precise as to which things I wanted. So now I just have that part on there. So you can see where that could be useful in um, 
making uh, images for handouts and various things. So sometimes you may want to have something in the pic in the picture, the graphic that you're getting, but not everything that's on the web page or on uh, the screen that you see. So this way it allows you to be able to customize it. Again, you could still use your highlighter, you can still use your pen to um, uh, add, you know add your own customization to it. Okay, well I hope you start using this. It's a great tool. Now let me show you one other thing because as I said I put mine on my taskbar down here because it is so handy. So how you do that is you still go to your start menu and when you see the icon you could do your if you had to search for it but like I said mine comes up quite a lot because I use it so much but I'm going to right mouse click on where it says the snipping tool and I'm going to say to pin it to my taskbar because it's already pinned there now so now the only thing I would could be able to do would be to unpin it but um, I would uh, if in your case if you don't haven't used it before you would want to pin it to your taskbar and that's a handy way to get it because it's right there easy for you to get to whenever you need it Hope this has been helpful to you. I know I use it a lot and I highly recommend it for others to use as well.